Infinity is that one concept you learn about as a kid. And once we learned about it, it was pretty much the only quantifier we used in our make-believe fights with friends. We know infinity is endless, but the nature of that endlessness is far more awe-inspiring than one would imagine it to be. And people tend to fail to grasp the full extent of infinity. And there exists something called the infinite monkey serum, which is the perfect example for breaking down what infinity is. This serum basically creates an imaginary scenario where you leave a monkey with a typewriter for an infinite amount of time. And within that infinite amount of time, the monkey will eventually perfectly recreate every piece of literature ever made in history, word for word. The monkey being a monkey won't recognize letters and will simply type in random sequences, but give it a few hours and it will form a recognizable word. But give it an infinite amount of time and it's inevitable that the monkey will eventually recreate say, the entirety of Romeo and Juliet, without a single mistake or deviation from the original. The chances of that happening by itself is abysmal. After all, Romeo and Juliet has roughly 140,000 words in it. Now just imagine trying to copy the entire book by just mashing your keyboard the entire time while you're blindfolded, and you get a decent idea of just how improbable this is. However, infinity is, well, infinite which means that no matter how random a monkey may type on a typewriter, it will eventually replicate the entirety of Romeo and Juliet word for word. It could even create entirely new books, like a fanfic of smut between Trump and Margaret Thatcher. Go on, visualize it. You're welcome, by the way, for the lifetime supply of mental scars. No need to thank me. Anyways, with this, now you should have the most basic understanding of what infinity is and how it works. So let's apply it to some slightly more complex scenarios to show you just how unfathomable the extents of infinity are. Like, what if we applied infinity to the universe itself? We know that the universe will eventually end in a heat death in a few billion years. And time itself is an intangible concept that's also infinite. So when you apply infinity to the universe, it means that even when the eventual heat death of the universe occurs, when given an infinite amount of time, another Big Bang will eventually happen, creating an entirely new universe. Now, science has determined that our universe is around 13.8 billion years old. But here's the thing. That's only concerning our current universe. So what does this mean? It means that who knows how many universes have been born and how many have died before it finally became our turn. And because infinity is infinite, we get an infinite cycle of universes dying and beginning. And within that infinite cycle, eventually the very universe we currently live in will be perfectly replicated, down to every single sequence of events. Regardless of how improbable this may be, infinity makes it an eventuality. Now, what if we complicate this even more? With time being infinite, it means we have no way of knowing how much time has passed since the beginning of all of existence. We just know how much time has passed since this universe was born. Which means we also don't know how many times a universe identical to ours in every single minute aspect has been formed throughout this infinite timeline. It could be hundreds, thousands, millions, and infinite amount. There's no way to know. It all depends on how long existence has existed, which the notion by itself is already a mindfuck. But if all that was too overwhelming, then how about I toned it down to a more digestible level for you? Instead of the universe, let's narrow the scope of things. And this time, let's focus on applying infinity to you. You are not unique. No matter how quirky or different you are from other people, and no matter how many people tell you that you're special and one in a billion, in the face of infinity, you are worthless. Your life is just an infinite sequence of events. Every breath you take, every move you make, every bond you break, every single day, are all just a sequence of events. And it's not just your decisions that affect your life. The decisions of other people will affect your life too. And even the forces of nature itself will interfere with your life. One in a billion is just another number. And numbers are meaningless in the presence of infinity. Inside infinity, the chances of that one in a billion occurring are also infinite. 
The only factor is how much time needs to pass for that one in a billion to happen. You might be a unique existence at this moment in time. But in the distant future, a perfect replica of the present you will come into existence, which means that there's an absolute certainty of a perfect copy of you existing sometime in the indefinite future. Living the same life you're living now with absolutely no differences. It could be billions or trillions of years in the future, it could even be quadrillions of years in the future, octillions of years, who knows. But one thing remains constant, the inevitability of another you. Infinity can just generate as many replicas of you as it wants. Hell, even you yourself could be living a life that follows the exact same sequence of events as someone from ages ago. You might not even be the first you to have ever lived. You could just be the same exact person as someone from eons ago. Another iteration in the timeline, making all the same mistakes the previous you made in life. The probability of there being an existence born that would be an exact replica of you and live a perfect copy of your entire life is implausible to say the least. But it's an eventuality. All it takes is replicating everything that has occurred in your life. And by everything I mean your family, your personality and every single event in your life. Not to mention that your physical appearance is just a combination of genes. And what good are combinations when time can just create an endless number of them? Now the odds of such a scene happening are what we consider as statistically improbable odds that make people think it's impossible purely from how unlikely such a scene is. But given enough time, such an occurrence is inevitable. There's no stopping it. Maybe that's just what deja vu is when you synchronize with a previous universe's timeline, repeating the exact same actions as a version of yourself from eons ago. Now, how about we take this improbable scenario and add just a touch more of improbability, creating a scenario where two identical copies of you exist at the same time. And by identical, I mean a separate being that looks exactly like you, being born into a family that's also identical to your family, a few thousand miles away from you. The ancestry doesn't have to be identical. All that really matters is everything in the present being identical. Anyways, that doppelganger will experience the same events as you experience in your life, all at the same time you experience them. There could be a duplicate of your family right now that you're unaware of, somewhere across the sea. It's a scary thought, isn't it? But the chances of this happening are lower than low. I don't think we've even named a number small enough to represent the odds of this happening. So I'll just use the biggest quantifiable number I know. The Googleplex. Say the odds of there being a perfect doppelganger of you that has also experienced all the minuscule events in your life are one in a Googleplex. Meaning that if one Googleplex universes are created, statistically speaking such a scenario will happen. And if 10 Googleplex universes are created, then there should also be 10 repetitions of the same scenario. And as you've just learned, numbers are nothing when faced against infinity. I would go on, but I'll leave statistics and probability for another video sometime within the next decade. Anyways, a universe sniffs for about a few trillion years. I would do the math, but after some momentary consideration, I realized my laptop would just die trying to process these numbers. So I'll just leave it up to your imagination. I mean even this video can be used as an example. Who knows how many times I've remade this exact video throughout all of eternity. The point is, infinity can be applied to everything. And all this just means that history will always repeat itself. It's something that's unavoidable as long as infinity exists. There's no need to have multiple different timelines. One timeline is already enough to generate infinite possibilities. I mean the Nazis have probably already run an infinite amount of times in the universe before this one. And the same applies to the allied forces. It's honestly quite funny when you think about it. Just how insignificant you are. You're not even a cog in the wheel. You're just nothing. Your existence holds no value. The rest of existence will continue to march forward regardless of your actions. Now I could go on and on with examples of infinity since even those are infinite. But the videos went on long enough and I don't want to give myself too much work to do. So I'll just leave you with this incoherent mess of an incomplete video like all of my other content. Anyways, 
Isn't infinity just amazing? Actually, no. Amazing isn't a word that can even begin to describe the concept of infinity. No matter how absurd it may be. When given an infinite amount of time, every scene within your wildest imagination becomes a possibility. The nature of infinity is something incomprehensible and overwhelming. It's something that is far too large for any of us to grasp. It's like the Chinese fable of a frog in a well. Except instead of a frog, it's humanity. And instead of a well, it's infinity. Something that's endless. No matter how long humanity pursues the secrets of the universe, we'll never unravel every secret. After all, that's the nature of infinity.